Hey, fourth graders. I'm here today to show you exactly what you're going to be doing to go along with the book, The Incredible Water Show. So I've read this story and the recording is in your Schoology folder and I'm gonna show you a quick few things that you're going to do to go along with our story. So the first thing is, when you're in Schoology today, I want to make sure that you see at the top, you now have a banner and there are some buttons that are linked. So the green button does your current assignment. The choice board is in progress. So I'm working on some different activities that we could be using in the future. So there is no link there yet. I do have the virtual library up and running and there's a virtual library shelf and there are currently five titles on the library shelf that includes the incredible water show. And then if you need help, Remember, I'm available for the last 15 minutes of our class via Google Meet. So the orange button will also take you to the Google Meet. And right now we don't have any old assignments in distance learning, but I will make that link available as soon as we do have assignments that fit into that group. Then below the banner is our folder for Media Rotation 12. And right now it does look grayed out. I haven't published it yet, but it will be live by nine o'clock on the day that you have media. So the first thing is, is you'll be watching the Rotation 12 greeting from me, what I'm recording right now. The next part is uh, the read aloud and um, for the Incredible Water Show. So I have a page here with the read aloud. And then there is also another book that gives you a ton of ideas for adjectives if you need some help in a refresher um, or just lots of adjectives and a fun rhyming story. And then I also talk about what you need to do for the adjective list. So I'll show you that really quickly here. So that will open these slides right here. And going right to the top, I'm talking about what story we're reading today. It's a great performance by the Tower Hill Players from Webster School. And this book is written and illustrated by a Minnesota author, Deborah Frazier. She really does a great job describing the water cycle in a theatrical performance. On the second slide, you'll see that it's pointing you to go to your assignment to work on adjectives. So what I'm gonna challenge you to do today is to create a list of 10 adjectives that you can use to describe water. And I need this 10 list completed for you guys to move into part two. So the arrow here is pointing to the little screenshot of where you need to click to make a copy. So you're gonna make a copy of a Google slide. And then you're going to be able to fill in the boxes with an adjective. There are 10 boxes. And then I want to make sure that you follow the directions to download your slide as a JPEG. We've done that before with our Build a Pumpkin assignment. So make sure you follow those directions closely in the assignment that you will be turning in for me. So the last thing in your folder is the 10 adjective slide. I remind you to turn it in as a JPEG and the directions will be there when you open that assignment. So remember, I don't want to get your slide from you. I really want to see that you can send me the JPEG image so that it's really easy for Schoology to load and I can see everybody's list. So once I approve your list, then we'll be ready to move to part two, which will take place next rotation. I hope you all are doing well. I miss seeing you here in the Media Center, but I really hope to see a lot of you in the Google Meet, even if you just drop by to say hi. Take care.